Can you see this? Cube. How the shape is formed. Is it visible? Yes. Aaron? Aaron, what about you? So can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, I can see it. Yeah. So let us try to understand. See, I have also made a cube since uh, it is difficult to imagine how the opening is happening. So since you have said that the uh, cube is made up of squares, so each shape basically is a square, each face. What is the area of this particular square, this particular shape? Quickly, area of a square. And also side into side. Can I say side square? Yeah, side square. This is also side square. Side square. Side square. Side square. Side square. So if I total surface area, if I add them, what will be the formula? Yes, Anna. Six and two side square. Yes. So TSA of a cube is six into side square. Is it making sense? Diana? Aaron? Yes. Six and we have already understood what is lattice surface area. What is the meaning of lattice surface area? Sir, so, uh, only the four walls, not the top or the bottom. Okay, out of these six faces, one, two, three, four, five. Sir, so one and four six. are the ceiling and the floor. One and four? Yeah, okay. I think. You think? Let's try to go back. Imagine. Oh, it's two and four. Understood? Yeah. Two and four are the top and ceiling. Sorry, floor. Sana, is it clear? Yes. So this and this I'm not going to paint because lateral surface area means means excluding top and bottom. So how many squares I'm painting? One, two, three, four. Okay. So what will be the formula, Aaron? So excluding uh, four S square. Four S square. So now is this thing clear? Yes. So were you aware of this? Uh, no. Okay. Show some excitement now. I feel like okay, I'm just wasting time. <laughs> and anyway. so I hope you understood through net diagram. And that's why I gave you this as homework to draw some net diagrams. Now you are able to visualize it better, I hope. So why I'm focusing on net diagram, I'll share you that thing also. Because what happens sometimes they give a weird question that I want to paint floor and four walls. In that case, you have to change the formula. In that case, what will be the formula? The paint, the person says, I want to paint the four walls and the ceiling, let's say. I want to paint the ceiling. Then how will you calculate the area? 
we would take um four um four into s square plus s wait no yeah then it will be four into s square plus s square i guess it will be five s square understood that net diagram helps me in understanding that in case of cuboid what will be the thing yes sir in case of a cuboid yes. the owner says i want to paint four walls and top how will you calculate the formula for that shape So, so it will be five as square, won't it? I'm talking about cuboid, Aaron. Just be present oh. in the class. Yeah. So we have done five five ten minutes ago. We did cuboid, na? Yes, sir. So, so it will be L into B plus uh two B H plus two L B. So we'll remove the two L B uh from the first. L into B plus two. Yeah. Two B H plus two L B. Two L H. Oh yeah, L H. Very good. Because this is for four walls, and this is for top. So now is it yes. clear? Yes. So this understanding will help you in doing all the type of questions, any weird type of question. So regarding the volume. i will talk about it in the next class for today's class only this much is enough okay now we'll next move on towards cylinder i hope you have copied this thing 